things are stampeding along and you have to know that this happened today uh, from seven Israel national news that the Iranian crown prince prays at the Western Wall. Riza Palava is already there in Israel. So that happened super fast from my report yesterday. Riza Palava, Iranian crown prince, visits the Western Wall, get this prophetically, asking for peace, freedom, security for the people of Israel and Iran. Written by Ido Ben Parat today, April 18th, 2023. And it shows him bowing, placing his hand flat against the Western Wall, standing next to a rabbi. Iran's Crown Prince Riza Pahlava and his wife on Tuesday morning visited the Western Wall at the initiative of intelligence minister Gila Gamaliel. <laughs> That's a pretty prophetic name <laughs> from the Likud. Western Wall Rabbi Shmuel Rabinowitz and the chief of the Western Wall Heritage Foundation met Pahlava explaining to him the Western Wall's significance to the Jewish people throughout the generations and the reality of living in Jerusalem, a city which respects and ensures freedom of religion for all. During the Holocaust Memorial Day siren, Palava stood in the Western Wall Plaza near the central flag alongside hundreds of worshipers who were praying at the site. The Western Wall rabbi said a chapter of Psalms with him and together they prayed for peace and for the nations and peoples between Israel and Iran. Palava was very moved by the visit and signed the Western Wall guest book with the words, to peace, to freedom, to security, respect of man and to life together. I bless the people of Iran and Israel. Gamaliel told him how moving his visit to the wall was, as it sends a message of hope and peace to the entire world. The visit ended with a tour of the Western Wall tunnels. So that is really a stunning statement, you know, that his prayer that he put in the wall was about peace and security. <laughs> Uh, we know what the Bible says about when they say peace and security, sudden destruction comes upon them. And um, so that's very, very interesting. The other thing is that this is the son of the royal monarchy of what was Persia. But when the Iranian clerics came in, they claimed it and the Ayatollahs took over in 1979, and the father of this prince, this crown prince, who was the Shah of Iran, he was the royal monarch, he was um, deposed by the Islamic faction. So that happened in 1979, and now his son is trying to step in and make peace and security with Israel. And they said that he wants to restore the parliamentary monarchy, something I've been talking about Israel doing with the uh, removal of the democratic situation with Israel's government and the things happening with the Supreme Court there. So isn't this interesting that he wants to have like the Cyrus Accords and Cyrus was the one who allowed the Jews to go back and build the temple. So I don't know what they're going to do about Trump's portrait being on the Cyrus coin, but all of these things coming together at the same time and this crown prince coming at the time just before King Charles III is coronated and what I've said about Israel in Revelation is setting up the ancient monarchy. And when you have a monarch, a king that's in power, he is 
the head of state. So what I told you in Revelation 13, that I see the beast that had the deadly wound by a sword and yet lived, was that God brought in a sword against Israel's ancient monarchy of Judah and Israel, and they are restoring it in the last days. A beast is a king, as according to the prophet Daniel. And I believe that's in Daniel 7. And so this is extremely significant that he's talking about restoring the parliamentary monarchy to what was ancient Persia, you know, now known as Iran. So this happening today, I didn't know it was going to happen so fast. So this is coming just a couple of weeks before King Charles III is coronated. So if they are accepting the Persian Shah's son at the Western Wall, don't you think they're going to welcome King Charles III? I definitely believe so. Things are stampeding, and this is just an update of yesterday's video where I talked about that he was going to visit. I just didn't know it was going to happen today in Israel. So they showed them standing there together with the Jewish rabbis. And it's just really a stunning set of prophetic events. Really stunning. So it'll be interesting to see. He wants to reestablish the ancient Persian monarchy in Iran as well. So <laughs> who saw this coming, huh? <laughs> so when they say peace and safety or peace and security, it says sudden destruction will come and they shall not escape. The time of Jacob's trouble is coming, and that is the time of the seven-year tribulation. So the rapture is very soon, I would say. So like, subscribe, and share, and please support me and my work and my channel. I am very thankful for people who have recently sent me a card. Um, I really appreciate it. And this week, I haven't had anything except one card. So thank you so much. I will talk to you later. Stay blessed. Keep looking up. We're going home, and I can't wait. Shalom for now.